Hello, I'm the Weasel, and this is episode three of Culture Clashes, where I go into some of the things you may not be used to about Chinese culture, and I discuss why it's this way as well. And I'm just saying, I'm not just complaining, but this time I'm pretty much complaining. And well, that's about it. Let's get started. In China, when you order water, it's going to be hot. Just so you know, you need to ask for cold water, and you will probably get weird looks. Even in the summer, it is more likely to be room temperature rather than cold. Yeah, it can be 30 degrees out, and then you, they'll hand you a cup of steaming hot water. Don't even ask in the colder months. Like in winter, you might as well have asked them to kick a baby. Water? Yeah. You mean like in the toilet? You might be asking, why hot water? And the obvious reason is because it's better for you. Why didn't you think of that? No, really, this is linked to both history and traditional Chinese medicine. Or from now on, I'm just saying TCM because traditional Chinese medicine is very long. So temperatures and food is a big thing in TCM. Often people who are sick or vulnerable are not allowed to have cold foods or spicy foods or stuff like that. So hearing that hot water is linked to medicine, it shouldn't surprise you that it is not only linked to a healthy diet and healthy lifestyle, but is often the go-to by the aunties as a cure-all. Who are the aunties? Well, I will have a video about Chinese aunties one day, but I really need to mentally prepare myself for that. Like, it's a pretty big topic. The important thing to remember is that hot water is the cure. Stomach ache? Hot water. Have a cough? Hot water. Have a sore throat? Hot water. Failed a test? Hot water. Boyfriend broke up with you? Hot water. Your head got cut off? Hot water. This really just isn't a superstition. Boiling water before you, you consume it does, of course, make it much safer to drink. This was shown in the 1830s during an epidemic. And of course, when the army did the long march through the jungles of Yunnan, they made it a practice of boiling water before drinking it, and that spread all across China after the soldiers went home. So yeah, hot or room temperature water has been shown to be better for you than drinking cold water in almost all situations. That does not mean I have to like it. For me, at least has to have some tea going on. Just hot water is just weird for me. Even after all these years, I really don't like it. Put some tea leaves in it, give it some flavor, Hot water is just a no-go. It should be noted that this goes for other drinks as well. In the summer, you can easily get a cold beer or pop. But you often have to ask, and they will always ask you if you want ice in the pop. Like, oh, you want ice in the pop? That's so strange. In the winter, good luck getting cold drinks. They think we're just as weird when we ask to get cold drinks in the winter as we think they're weird when they say, I want a hot drink in the summer. Now, this is different if you go to a place that gets a lot of foreigners, because they'll be used to people asking it, for, so they'll have it on hand. For women, this even actually goes even farther, because if you're, it's your time of the month, and you ask for a cold drink or an iced drink, think as a woman in China, they're thinking, what are you, trying to kill yourself? I, I don't get this one, but they're like, no, I, like you can't get cold drinks at this time of the month. So... <laughs> I, I don't get it. I honestly this this is pretty much sums this one up. Like it's just a big thing. There's not much more to say about this, but it is one of the big ones you will notice in China that you will be getting hot water. They'll have hot drinks on the table even in the summer and that. And if you're used to drinking cold water, good luck. That's why I say it's like it is quite the culture shock. And well that's all there is. If you like this video, please like, share, subscribe, or comment down below. Later, Zaijian.